A mixture of supply shortages and not enough delivery drivers across the country is having an impact on school lunches. In Rapid City, schools are making some adjustments in order to provide healthy meals for their students. Cutterland City Thorson explains. Staying nourished is an important part of a student's education. Thousands of kids in the Rapid City School District line up each day for a hot meal. The school district offers both a breakfast and a lunch, so that's really a large portion of what the kids consume within the week. Chris Leonhart is a team leader for the Rapid City School Student Nutrition Services. Leonhart says without proper nutrition, it can be hard for a student to focus. You know, we know that nutritious meals are important to fuel the body, to fuel the brain. And uh, that's just what we strive to do here every day is put out a good variety of food and, and make it as uh, healthy as possible. Student nutrition manager Krista Leishner says a food shortage is forcing lunch crews to be ready to make quick adjustments. We're looking at this in a variety of ways. So first of all, we're trying to be proactive and get ahead of things. Um, that for you know the most immediate has been a simplified menu um, and just trying to make sure that we can get those items in that are on the menu. Um, however, if we're outed, then we're making last minute changes and trying to get food in. Um, we still are required to meet our USDA meal pattern. Schools are required to offer a protein, a grain, a vegetable, fruit, and milk. My hope is that we're able to um, get back to the menus that we had planned, um, that we're able to offer more variety, um, and that we, you know, continue to be able to get items that we that we need to, to get in to feed kids. In Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. The Rapid City Area School serves nearly 14,000 students. It's the state's second largest district made up of 23 schools. Well, the Sioux Falls School District is also feeling the effects of the pandemic in its cafeterias. The district sent out a note to parents earlier in the school year letting them know that distribution issues are causing some changes to breakfast and lunch menus. District officials say that it's still priority, though, to offer healthy and tasty meals for the students.